Hey everybody, Payments Professor here, and this week we're going to be focusing on settlement. Now, in this Monday's Basic, we're going to talk about what is clearing and settlement. What is clearing and settlement? Well, clearing is the process of sending out, reconciling, and in some cases actually confirming payment orders, or it could be even security transfers, prior to settlement taking place. So that's the clearing of it. It's really the process, again, clearing it out, sending it out, reconciling it. Whereas when we work with settlement, well, settlement is the actual transferring of securities and funds between the two parties involved. Put it simple, clearing is the process of determining the obligations of who owes what to who, and settlement is the process of actually fulfilling those obligations or moving that money around. Now, settlement is actually something that takes place at different levels. When we look at ACH, for example, between originators and the ODFI, there's a settlement process that takes place. That is usually going to be covered by an agreement, and that agreement is going to be covered by UCC 4A if it's working with the business, and it usually is, and we'll get into more detail on that in other videos. When is that settlement going to take place? Well, one of the things we see and why I mentioned UCC 4A is there may be provisional credit that's given, and final settlement will take place later because if the ODFI doesn't get funding for what they've given money to the originator for, well, they don't want a final settlement to take place. There's also settlement that's going to take place between the ODFI and the ACH operator, as well as between the ACH operator and the RDFI, and then the RDFI and the ODFI. Oh, wow. A lot of settlement taking place there, right? Well, I'm going to discuss in Wednesday's Who Is video, who is the National Settlement Service, or NSS. And that'll help you get some understanding of settlement taking place at that higher bank-to-bank -bank and bank to ACH operator level. But there's settlement that takes place at that level, too. And finally, we have settlement that's going to take place between the RDFI and the receiver. Now, in that settlement, we really do refer to it more as funds availability. See, we do have settlement that takes place with corporate receivers, but when it's a consumer like you or I, then it's going to be funds availability. Now, funds availability really is a form of settlement. What determines funds availability? Well, remember over here between the originator and the ODFI, I mentioned UCC 4A and how that governed or played into the agreement and settlement between the originator and the ODFI. Well, flip it over here to the RDFI and the receiver, and we have Reg CC, which governs funds availability. And there'll be some things that are also determined by the agreement because you can give better funds availability or better settlement if you want to your receivers. So in a nutshell, that's what we see as far as settlement. It takes place at multiple different levels. Remember, clearing is the process of determining the obligations, and settlement is the process of actually fulfilling those obligations and moving those funds. You got any questions, you got any comments, put them down below. I'd love to hear from you. I appreciate all the comments and messages I've been getting. If there's other topics you want to hear about, let me know. I'll be glad to get those out there for you. Until then, happy processing, everybody.